it, its face was covered with like a black fabric and then it had a hood a black hood on and it was just like kind of hunched over hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> i'm dumb Que rollo pollos, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Seriously been wanting to film this video forever. I don't get like home until like 5.30ish. So usually the sun is down by then. But the time just changed. So the sun stays out for longer. Anyway, today I am going to be talking about, about how my house is haunted. Literally guys, okay. I'm trying to not be like super like guys my house is haunted i don't mean to bash on people that like post these videos like dead dead serious um but it's just like a video i wanted to post i might over exaggerate some things i might just kind of goof around but when i'm saying these things have happened 110 percent, they have happened 110 percent. like i'm not even playing with you guys Everything I'm saying is real. Like it's one like it's happened. It's just every single time I tell this story, like I get so like hyped up and like I'm like, oh this happened and then this happened. Also, don't mind my headphones being in. Um I'm using the mic from my my earbuds, my headphones or whatever. Um, just so the audio sounds better because if I don't use the mic from my headphones, you guys get this weird glitchy background sound. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you guys know what I'm talking about, but that is why. So I think this was like Tuesday night, Wednesday night, one of those days. Um, I went to sleep, right? Basic, everyone goes to sleep. And I, it's been about three years now that I constantly have the same kind of dream. I went through this time where I had constant dreams of me calling 911. And it would happen like maybe once or twice a month and it would just be like this weird thing that would happen i have never thought anything of it <laughs> my sister's home and she's like gonna see me filming this video she's gonna bust in nice get out i'm gonna say hello to all my subscribers all right anyway so oh my gosh you can see my shadow now and that kind of scared me but that night i had a dream of calling 911 the dream was of this man you could it, i couldn't see its face but i knew it was a man you know how it's just like like, you know. It, its face was covered with, like, a black fabric, and then it had a hood, a black hood on, and it was just, like, kind of hunched over. And um, it was standing outside, and it opened my dad's truck. Uh, this is a dream. Like, let me clarify. Like, this is a dream. It opened my dad's truck, and I look over to my mom, and I'm like, do I call 911? And she goes, yes. Um, at that point, like, the person in the black hood had looked over at us, and is trying like runs like is trying like running towards the house um and at that point i'm calling 911 while running to my dad's room and i'm like dad someone just broke into your truck they're trying to come into the house and he gets up all types of quick and as i'm calling 911 all i could hear on the phone was like sorry your call had been intercepted it just I, it wasn't exactly like that i can't remember but it was like something about my call being blocked off or intercepted by something and I was like what the heck I was like what do I do like like my dad had gotten up runs to the living room and by the time he got to the living room whatever was outside was inside and it was just like a bunch of things going on I, I couldn't like process what was going on in my dream but usually when I have the, the dreams of me calling 911 it always shifts after something's already in the house like once it gets into the house it just changes completely like, like my dream just shifts um and that's what had happened my dad reached the living room i was with him and then my dream had just turned into like me and my sister at the beach it was so weird but like i said i've had those dreams before so i didn't think anything of it you know but i woke up and then it was the middle of the night um so I roll over to this to the side of my bed and I check what time it is and it says it's 3:33 in the morning. Um so I didn't I was like okay whatever it's like 3:33. Uh, I roll back over, I go back to sleep. I never ever 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 wake up in the middle of the night. Like I don't wake up to check the time, I don't wake up to go to the bathroom, I don't wake up to drink some water. I never wake up, like I never open my eyes, look around, and then go back to sleep. I never do that, you know? But I didn't, like, I didn't think anything of it when I did it that night. So, 
comes day time, I wake up, I go to school. I'm in one of my classes and I'm going through Facebook. Sorry, like I'm trying, I'm like kind of breathing heavily now because I'm, I'm getting into the story and it's just like freaking me out as I'm thinking about it. I'm going through Facebook. This is where it gets kind of funny. Um, and I bump into this thing, <laughs> this post uh, that's talking about el ayuoki. So I'm like, I've seen this thing around, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to try to post a picture here just so you guys can see what I was seeing. I think it was in Spanish, and it says something about el ayuoki sale a las 3.33. So el ayuoki comes out at 3.33. I literally just kind of stood there, and I was like, oh, that play. What the fuck? I was like, there's no way this is real. I was like rubbing my eyes. I was like, no way I'm seeing this right. But El Ayuwoki is a freaking meme. I was like, it's a meme about Michael Jackson. El Ayuwoki, Annie Ayuwoki. It's, it's a thing. It's like this, this ghost monster thing that is named El Ayuwoki. <clears throat> but it looks like Michael Jackson. So that's why they named it El Ayuwoki or whatever. I think El Ayuwoki might be an actual thing. I don't know. I haven't researched it, but... It's just this meme. So I looked at it and I just kind of freaked out for a second. And then I realized I was like, this is a freaking meme. So I go on about my life. I didn't really pay much attention to it. I come home. I tell my sister about me waking up at 3.33. I tell my mom. I tell my grandma. And at this point, I started to get paranoid because I told my grandma. And my grandma just goes, just pray. Just pray. Like, God is going to protect you. And that kind of scared me because I was like, shoot. Like, do they believe this is something bad? I calmed down. I was like, I like you woke. It's a meme whatever so i go to sleep that night <sighs> i never wake up and i woke back up not at 3 33 this time but at 3 27 that is close enough to 3 33 i'm not the type of person to be scared of that kind of thing especially when i'm half asleep like i don't care what's going on i just kind of rolled over i checked the time i go Oh my gosh, there's no way I just woke up in the middle of the night again. But I go, okay, whatever, I'm going to go back to sleep. So, I always hear that the bad, bad energy, bad spirits, like evil stuff comes out at three. And that's just something I've always heard. I told you guys I was going to try to be goofy in this video, but like as I'm telling you guys, it's like really kind of getting to me. There's been times when I'm like sleeping in my bed and... I'll just kind of lay there for a while and I'll be like, I don't feel right, you know? And during those times, I'll usually go sleep with my sister. Like, I'll, I'll be like, no, there's no way I'm sleeping alone tonight. Like, if I'm feeling bad energy, either I'll just pray and like, I'll fall asleep praying. But there's been times where I literally just feel so uncomfortable in my own room that I get up and go to my sister's. It's never like so bad to where I'm like, mom, we need to move out or whatever. And it's still not like that. <laughs> I feel like I'm really being dramatic about this. It's just kind of hard to be, like, goofy about it. Okay. Okay. And, like, the reason I wasn't taking it, like, so serious, like, whatever was going on, was because waking up in the middle of the night, like, really... You're going to wake up at three o'clock two nights in a row and you're really going to make a story time about it. But I don't know. It was just weird to me because I never wake up in the middle of the night. After those two nights, I was like, I'm not going to sleep alone tonight. So I slept with my sister the third night and I didn't wake up. I didn't wake up in the middle of the night. And then I wake up that day and I started cleaning my room. I hadn't touched like I literally hadn't touched anything in my room for like that week, I wasn't, like my room was fairly dirty and I was just cleaning around. Um, I look into the trash can. Um, the only trash I put in my, the trash can in my room is receipts, baby wipes, and Q-tips. So I look into the trash can and there's a picture of my sister sitting in there. And I go, okay, this is the picture that was in there um I don't even remember where this picture was it used to be like attached to a keychain we had 
but I don't remember what happened to that keychain. It's been years since I've seen it. Um, but this picture was in the trash can and I was like, maybe I had this picture on my dresser and I grabbed a receipt or something and I threw it in there. But it was just so weird because the picture was placed so perfectly in the middle facing up. And I, I just kind of looked at it and I was like, I, I was like laughing. I was like, there's what? So I walk into my sister's room and I was like, dude, look what I just found in the trash. And she goes, what? And I show her the picture and she goes, that's so weird. I was like, oh no. And then we're sitting in her room just joking around about it. We're like, oh my gosh, there's like, <laughs> it's a like you walkie because that's literally what I, we've been talking about this whole time. I always joke around with my mom about it being a like you walkie. And if there's a ghost in my house right now, it's probably so tired of me because I've been joking around about it this whole time. Low key, it's getting to me now that I'm like filming this video. So that same day that I had slept with my sister and found the picture, uh, I, I go into the living room and my mom's in the kitchen with my dad and my mom goes, Emily, ¿prendiste el calentón anoche? And I was like, I was like, no. And she was like, porque yo lo apagué anoche. Sorry, I'm saying this in Spanish when you guys like might not understand. So let me rewind. She goes, Emily, did you turn on the heater last night? I was like, no. She goes, because I turned it off before going to bed. And I was like, I was like, well, I didn't turn it back on. You swear you turned it off. She goes, yes, I did. So I was like, I was like, around, do you know like around what time it turned back on? And she was like, she was like, no, not exactly. But I got up to turn it off at four. So I'm guessing it turned on, it turned on around three. But so I sat there laughing about it again. So let me try to get explanations to all this. Me waking up in the middle of the night. People do that. It's normal to wake up in the middle of the night. Doesn't matter if it's at three o'clock. Two, my sister's picture being in the trash can. I, it could have just slipped in with one of my receipts, whatever. The heater turning on, that's where I was like, that is literally so unexplainable to me. And that was when I was like, what? Like what? Because in order for the heater to turn on, if, if you turn it off, it's going to be off and it's going to stay off. To turn it back on, you switch a th uh, like a switch that wind couldn't push the switch back on. Like it's something hard to turn back on. Watch, I'll show you guys. So this is where it turns on. Right now it's on because it's on the heat side. To turn it off, you push it down this way. And like, it's hard to move. Like even me just kind of pushing on it, like it's off now. But to turn it back on, you have to like, again, do that, you know? Then my cousin comes over and I was getting ready with her. I was telling her this story. I was like, oh my gosh, Stella Yuwoki is in my house. We're j like, I'm joking around about it, but she kind of like listening to my story. She was like, dude, <laughs> low key, all of that stuff is so weird. And I was like doing the explanations to her. I was like, this could have happened with each one of those things. Um, and so I'm straightening my hair with this straightener right here. Okay. Sorry. I had to like move my camera because it's about to die and I have to charge it. I'm like straightening my hair and I set it down and I start steaming the outfit I'm going to wear and I check back to straighten some pieces I had missed and it's off and I remember like so so clearly that I had left it on because I told myself I know I I probably missed some pieces so I'm gonna leave it on and it was off so I tried to turn it back on um and it wouldn't turn back on I was like maybe it just got disconnected so I check this thing is connected but it won't turn on I unplug it plug it back in try to turn it on and it turns on that happens though like it's a freaking flat iron even at this point I'm still not scared because I have like this close relationship with God that I feel like I'm fine like I'm always gonna be fine and this like everything that's happened is just kind of like explainable like one way or another flat irons they turn off like they automatically turn off by themselves that one doesn't though so I don't know people wake up in the middle of the night it's like I don't know how to explain the whole heater thing I don't know though 
I don't know about that one. Since then, nothing super out of the norm has happened. I'll keep you guys updated though. If you guys don't have me on Snapchat, go ahead and add me. My username is in the description box below. Also, go ahead and follow up my other social medias. I will be updating you guys there. Again, this was supposed to be like a goofy, funny video, but I don't know. It just, it just kind of came out like this. Um, I'm probably gonna get like comments like, oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> like, you're really gonna be freaking out over this. No, like, I'm not freaking out over it. It's just like, I just wanted to tell you guys the story because my sister thought everything was really interesting and my cousin was like, huh, weird. And my mom's kind of like, huh, weird. Um, but nothing like to the point where I'm like, um, I need to bless my house. And, and I don't think they will because like everything has an explanation. I just like wanted to share it with you guys. That is pretty much it for this video. Maybe there will be a part two, you know, who knows? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video, for bearing through my stupidity. <laughs> um, if you guys like these kind of videos, the story time videos, um, I would love to do more for you guys. Just let me know in the comments down below or in my inbox, social media, anywhere. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.